Welcome to my channel with me, Emily D, and I'm so happy you're here. So today I'm in a collab with this eye, Martinez, and we decided we're going to use the Ace Beauté Falling For You palette. And I did pick her colors to use, and she chose the shades for me to use. So I'm very excited to play with these shades. They are very bright. So the first color she picked was Pumpkin Pie, which is this bright one up here. She also picked Candy Corn, and Candy Corn is this bright red down in the bottom. She picked Chestnut, which is a purple shade here. And she picked Cherry Pie, which is that shimmer right there. And the last one that is I see is Cider. And Cider is this greenish goldish color here. So I'm excited to see the look that I'm about to create. It's gonna be very vibrant very bright colors to use so i have done my face i've already put on my lipstick and everything so i'm ready to get into this eye look let me get my brushes out that's what i forgot to do is get my brushes out all right so now i'm ready i'm gonna start off with a shade called pumpkin pie which is that deepish red color there so that is gonna go out here on my outer crease my outer upper crease let's get a fluffy brush mm, let's see let's see okay here we go this one is a aoa brush i think oh no it's not this one is a morphe v205 so it is fluffy and it does kind of have an oval shape to it so I'm going into Pumpkin Pie, which was that deepish red shade. And I'm going to tap that out here in the outer corners of my eye. The outer top edge. And just blend that out up there. I have primed my eyes with the Zoeva Eye Primer as well. So that is still a little tacky. But I notice that's the way it stays. But it allows me to blend my shadows very nice, so it's fine. It'll work. Okay, so now let's do this. I think I'm going to do one eye and then go off film and do the other eye. So I just don't take too long on the camera. Take too much of y'all's time. So there's that outer part all buffed out to my liking. So now I'm going to go into that brighter red, and that one was called Candy Corn. And Candy Corn is down here in the bottom, so I'm going to put that on the inner part of my lid. And I'm going to use this other fluffy brush by Morphe, and this one is a V206. So it is a little smaller, but it has the same dome shape to it, and kind of oval. So let's go into Candy Corn. I know candy corn is very bright, so I was going to go on the inner part of my lid and, and blend it out with this other shade as well, just to give it a little more color down in the base. So let's blend that up and out. So I did put on a red shirt to match this eyeshadow. I'm very excited to play with these colors. I haven't used these shades in this palette, so... <laughs> going to be a very bold look. Okay, so there is that shade all laid down. And it is blended out pretty good. But just to blend that top edge a little bit more, I'm going to get this very fluffy brush. This one is the Morphe V204. It is very domed and it is round. So I'm just going to buff out that edge up here. Just go in swirls so it's not so harsh. Just trying to blend it in a little better. Okay, so now for my outer corner right here, I'm gonna use that deep shade called Chestnut. Yes, Chestnut, and that one is the deep purple right here. So that is going to go on my lid, and it's going to get tapped out. And I'm going to use this Morphe 202, 
So this one looks kind of domed as well, but it does have a lot of bristles to it. It is very fluffy. So let's go into chestnut. And I have used chestnut, so I know it is a very deep purple. It is a very pretty shade, but it blends with these colors very nice. I'm just going to buff that into that crease right here on the lid and in the crease a little bit. Blend it up with the red. So I hope y'all's day is going good. Y'all should see Miss I Martinez. Go check out her channel. She's always doing get ready with me's. It's fun to see her do her makeup. Everybody has their own style of doing it in different ways. So that's always nice. She does shout out Saturdays, I believe it is. So that's very sweet of her. Okay, so there is that deep shade called Chestnut. I think it's blended as good as I want it up to that kind of burgundy red shade. Okay, so now for all over my lid, I'm gonna go in with Cherry Pie which was that sparkly red there. And that's gonna be laid on top of my lid. And I'm gonna use this little angled brush. This one is by AOA Studios. It is the E138. So it is angled, it is very dense, and it works great to pack on the shimmer colors. So let's put that all over my lid here where there is no color laid down yet. I'm going to blend it up with that red shade so they can just meet very nice right in the crease. Okay, so there is that shade called Cherry Pie. And I'm going to kind of dab it out here so it'll get a little of that shimmer in the purple out here. Let's blend it together very pretty so there it is I'm gonna try to clean that up here in a minute in the outer corner so now let's see I need to use cider cider was this kind of goldish greenish color and that's gonna go in my brow bone up here as well as my inner corner of my eye so I'm gonna use this AOA 139 brush this one it has a smaller tip to it. It is still a little angled and it is very dense with bristles as well. So let's tap into the cider very lightly because I know it comes out a lot. It has a lot of sparkle to it and that's very nice. I do like that. Okay, so there it is in the brow bone. Let me do my inner corner of my eye. I think I'm going to drag this onto my lid a little bit as well. So it'll kind of blend in with that shimmery pink. That other shimmer pink was called Cherry Pie. I'm going to try to blend it up with Cherry Pie a little bit. Okay, so now for my lower lash line. Let's see, my lower lash line, I'm going to use my little blue paddle brush. So it is just a normal paddle brush. And I'm going to go into the shade Pumpkin Pie one more time, which is this one here. And I'm going to buff that out in my lower lash line. So I got to look up for this. I'm going to tap it in the edge of the line and then buff it out. So I'm going to use cherry pie on the front part and then I think I'm going to go in with that purple chestnut color again for the outer part of the lower lash line. Okay, so now let's tap into chestnut which was that very deep purple. That's going to get out here in this outer edge. There we go. Okay, so now to clean up the rest of this part here, 
I'm gonna go in with this little, <laughs> this new little pretty brush I just received. It is fluffy, but I'm just gonna use it to clean out this little part that came a little too far off my lid. Okay, so now this is the eye look, but I'm gonna go off film and I'm gonna do my other eye and I'm gonna apply my mascara and I'll be back. This is the final look. Here's the eyes, and I did apply those little scarlet lashes again today just to make the eyes look a little more pretty. So there is the eye look. For my mascara, I did use this Chastique Mascara in black. On the top lid line, I put on this By Me Times My Beauty brand. I put on this liquid liner, and then for my lipstick, I have the shade 115 Hide Your Heart in Context. So that's the brand of it and this is the color of it. So that's what's on my lips. I hope you all go check out Miss I Martinez and see the beautiful look that she has created with the colors I picked out for her. Thank you for spending some time with me. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye.